Hello. So, I got to go to Ben Venture Conference last week. It was the first time i have been there in a while. And, uh, you know, I really only go to the happy hour. If you're here to just hear about the winners of Ben Venture Conference, I'll get that out ahead of time. But if you're willing to stick around, I would love to share some kind of themes, trends, insights I gained simply from attending the happy hour and, and all the amazing people I got the chance to talk with while I was there. So uh, first and foremost, let me give you the winners of Ben Venture Conference. Again, I'm going to look down at my screen and read these so that I'm sure to get them right for you. But let's get that. Let's get those accolades up front for all those folks who won, who went down to Bend and, and pitched their companies and a bunch of amazing people took the stage. Everybody, in my opinion, should have won at this competition, but you have to pick some favorites when it's a competition. So let me take you through the winners of Bend Venture Conference 2024. Early stage winner was Prophetic out of Portland, Oregon. Audience favorite was Rose City Robotics. Fun trivial fact, both of those companies are part of Upstart Collective here in Portland. So, so there you go. I'm not saying that because they're Upstart Collective companies, they won, but, you know, just saying. In the new economy, Home Lending Pal out of Orlando, Florida, and Hardcore Peanut Butter Company out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, took home investments. In the growth stage, ProMedics out of Portland, Oregon, won the big prize and also received some congratulations from OHSU and Oregon Bioscience Incubator because they love the the health tech and the biotech kind of stuff. And finally, Health Elements AI out of Bend, Oregon also took home some investment. So those are the winners. Um, but really, everybody who was at the event, again, is a winner in my opinion, and congratulations to all the companies that took the stage. So you now have the winners. If all you were interested in was the winners, you can go about your merry way now. But if you're interested in some like themes that I encountered down there or like insights that I was able to, to gather while I was at Ben Venture Conference, stay tuned because here we go. I'm going to I'm going to give you what I learned down there in like a, a Cliff's Notes or Spark Notes or whatever the kids use these days uh, kind of version. So first and foremost, I recorded this. I woke up early the morning after. I was so excited. I woke up early and recorded a little short about this. But if you didn't see that, the, the prevailing theme throughout the event was optimism. And, and, and an optimistic viewpoint that I haven't felt in a while. And more importantly, that I haven't felt statewide. I've felt optimism in Portland from time to time. I felt optimism in maybe Bend from time to time, or Eugene or Corvallis or what have you, but but kind of syncopated, not all happening simultaneously in kind of a positive momentum kind of way. But this time around, no matter who I talked to, no matter where they were from, there was this kind of optimistic energy about the potential of Oregon, the potential of startups, and the, you know what, what we have the opportunity to achieve here. So that was really fulfilling. And, and the other part of it was I just wasn't meeting with investors. I was meeting with people who were supporting all aspects of startup creation and startup community all over the state. That was perhaps the most amazing part. I got to talk to people from Pendleton, from the Gorge, from Portland Metro, Portland and, and Vancouver folks. I got to talk to folks from Corvallis. I got to talk to, from, to folks from Eugene. Obviously got to talk to a lot of folks from Bend. And everybody is really psyched on the potential of Oregon right now. And I don't know in my 30 year history here in the state, if I've ever felt this much simultaneous kind of optimism and energy about what's happening in Oregon. And that was really inspiring and fulfilling and made it well worth my time to be down there 
in Bend for Bend Venture Conference. Now I'm going to have to connect with each of these people because it was really just kind of chit chatty small talk, but uh, I'm going to have to reconnect with each of these groups. I've already scheduled some of those meetings and we'll be scheduling many more. I'm really looking forward to kind of diving deep into each community and figuring out like what's going well there, where they could use assistance, where they could use collaboration and really figuring out, you know, how we support Oregon from a startup perspective and not just, I know I'm really focused on Portland. I really love Portland. I really do. But uh, I will have to say that Portland might not be leading in terms of optimism these days, like everywhere else is, uh, you know, Portland might might be able to kind of like take in some of the optimistic perspective of some of the other communities and, and together we can all we can all be optimistic about Oregon and what's going on there. But, uh, you know, thanks to everyone who, who took the time to chat with me. Uh, it was really great to meet all of you folks. And I, and, and I look forward to spending more quality time with you, perhaps virtually, perhaps in your, in your space, in your region, meeting your startups and that kind of thing. So if that's a possibility, let's make that happen. I would love to come visit your community and meet your startups and your founders and, and support you however I can, because there was just a lot of good energy at Ben Venture Conference this year, like the best energy I felt. And again, I didn't go to the pitches. I don't know what happened there apart like from reading you the winners, but uh, like the, the stuff I was involved in was really, really good and really, really needed. The other theme that came out loud and clear, so there's this optimism, optimism at large throughout the state. There are all these interesting groups in various regions working on their stuff and their things and their communities and their startups and being helpful and supportive. But the thing that's changed about that is, you know, in the before times prior to the pandemic, if I were having this type of conversation with folks, by and large, None of those folks would be getting paid. They would all be kind of volunteers or like part time or like, you know, getting some form of compensation or sponsorship for working with startup communities. And, and I think the thing that is really positive and thank you for making this happen, state of Oregon and, and, and local local folks who are making this kind of thing happen and private industry that are making this kind of thing happen. These are folks who are paid full time to focus on startups and working with founders and community and making this kind of thing happen. And I've never seen this level of activity in the state. You know, passion can't sustain everyone or, or all communities. And so it's really nice to see a bunch of these folks getting paid full time to focus on the startup community, uh, is some of this, a lot of this is thanks to the kind of innovation hub work that the state has been funding. You know, a part of it is the through the Pendleton Unmanned Aerial System Accelerator. They're having a huge impact in Pendleton, not only Pendleton, but throughout the state. Seeing amazing activity there. You know, the folks in the Gorge are working on their innovation hub. The Eugene folks obviously have that rather large college uh, there that, that is helpful to them. The Corvallis folks who I'm looking forward to, to diving in more and hearing more about what they're doing. The Corvallis folks have an amazing AI department at Oregon State University. They have the Bend Cascades campus for Oregon State. Interesting activity happening there. Amazing stuff. Uh, you know, they have an innovation hub kind of thing going on there. Portland, we have our innovation hub going. Vancouver has support from, you know, the city and, and kind of the economic development groups there. And across the board, you look at it and you see the support from the educational institutions. You know, it's, uh, you can see Portland State, University of Oregon, Oregon State. You can see OHSU involved there. So like, that educational component, which has always been like one of those things that we haven't quite figured out how to connect, is finally becoming connected to the startup and innovation community. Uh, so just lots of good stuff 
happening. Lots of good stuff that that really just kind of like invigorated me about the Portland startup community. And I was like, oh, I, w- I wish I could work on this full time. This is pretty exciting right now. I wish I could dive in and join all of you folks uh, as, as, as my full time gig, like hanging out with you. But be that as it may, there are all kinds of folks working full time on this stuff. And I look forward to supporting them however I can. Uh, all that being said, uh, 2025 is going to be an exciting year throughout the state. But, uh, you know, I don't like to pick favorites, but there's some interesting stuff going on in Bend. And it's kind of got, Bend has kind of got that percolating, like, you know, lots of little, not little, but lots of like intimate gatherings occurring. So smaller intimate gatherings occurring and a lot of activity that is, I predict, in 2025 is going to kind of congeal into more targeted momentum for the community. I mean, I I talked to folks at the OSU Cascades campus about the Innovation Hub. They've got some great ideas. There are other things happening there kind of in the background in Bend that I know are interesting. And then, you know, a whole bunch of people I didn't even realize had relocated to Bend have relocated to Bend. And, And they are bringing of some new energy to that community as well so all all things being considered pretty bullish on bend right now so keep an eye on bend uh if you're in those other regions you know pendleton the gorge like hood river the dalles area corvallis eugene portland vancouver all of those have great things going and uh, you know i don't want to set up any competition (laughs) but if that's what you need to be motivated to get your community going even further great then let's all double down on our communities and see what we can do to support startup founders so that's my takeaway did i just spit so that's my takeaway from ben venture conference this year i just wanted to get that all out there so it didn't overtake the entire episode this week but again as you can tell uh clearly uh, invigorated and psyched about the energy at ben venture conference this year and really excited i got to go down there and meet a bunch of new folks and hang out with folks that i know well and and haven't seen in a while and as always if you uh want to get connected with people who are supporting startups in the oregon ecosystem there is no better event no better one-time opportunity to do that than heading down to Bend in mid-October to attend Bend Venture Conference. Also, I would I would like to say to everybody who was kind enough to come up and say, I watch the YouTubes or I listen to the podcast and you should keep doing that even though you're ridiculous. Uh, I really, really appreciate that and I'm I'm super glad. That this is valuable for you. I definitely will keep doing it. I do enjoy uh, getting this opportunity to hang out with you every week, and, I, and I'm really, I'm really happy to hear that it's been beneficial to you as well. Hopefully, that gives you all the detail you needed to know about what I saw happening at Ben Venture Conference this year. Until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work.